Hello, gentlemen. My name's Paul, and seeing as it is going to be time management that will be the theme for Manifesto Core this coming month of December, uh, and we're going to be working with all kinds of different stuff around how to get the most out of our time, structure our time, create goals, <laughs> and um, get clarity about what it is that we actually want to achieve, and then actually get to those goals. Uh, I thought I would just make a little video here and present to you what I do with my personal practices and how I manage my time. Uh, what I do every single day, what I do every week, um, and how it is that I'm kind of making sure that I'm moving in the direction every single day that I want to be doing. So yeah, first of all, <laughs> what I'll do is I will show you this book here, because this is my journal. Uh, it's something that I have with me everywhere I go, every single day. Um, and um, yeah, rice in it is the first and the last thing that I do when I wake up in the morning and when I go to bed. Um, so this is with me. I've been doing this about since 2017 uh, in some form or another. Um, and the more I've done it, the more I've realized how valuable it is and the more that I've then uh, done it more and more actually. Uh, so it's been a slow increase for me as I've just seen that time and energy that I put into journaling uh, gives uh, so much back to me all the time. Uh, so that's what I hope you can get a little bit out of this video as well. Um, and the first thing I want to mention is that um, this is a physical book. It uh, is um, something that is not on an iPad or on my phone or on my computer. Um, and there's really something about that, about having an actual book. We used to have to use like an old school pen and write down. I, I like these like felt tip pens for some reason. I don't know why, but I always write with these. I feels nicer to write with, but I, use, I actually spent quite a bit of time going into a shop and finding the right pen to write with. Um, and there's something about like having this process in a physical book that helps you to take yourself more seriously uh, and really um, think about it more carefully. I have quite a few of these books now that I've uh, had over the years and I can look back at them occasionally uh, and I'll have them probably for a very long time. I don't let anybody else read in them, um, but but it's really interesting to go look back at like, you know, where I was a year ago or two years ago, or sometimes I have some thoughts about something that happened previous in my life and actually look up in those dates and find that where I was in my life. And then there's really something about that. And um, I have experimented with online, doing it online on some kind of document, and it just doesn't work in the same way. So I, I trust me on that one, I think. Um, the next thing uh, that I want to mention is, well, yeah, let's start going into the content of this. So in, in this book, the first thing I have here is I've, I've written this on a computer and then printed it out and pasted it in here, but this is my, my personal vision. Um, and so this is something that really motivates me. It's my kind of uh, my core values, uh, a vision about who I am and, and the way that my life is. Um, that's really kind of the highest possible goal that I could possibly imagine. It's something that can really motivate me uh, to, to get me up out of bed in the morning when, you know, actually this last week I've had a couple of days, you know, it's going into winter and there's been some tough things happening. Um, and, and, and so it's really important that this is something I can remind myself on. I read this every single day. Um, and and, and it, it just reminds me, what is it I'm aiming for? What is it I'm trying to create in the world? And, and why is it that I'm doing that? And, and obviously, there's, you can see some changes here. So that it changes once in a while, and I add and take away some things. It's not something that's, that's fixed. I can always take my pen and add in something. And, and then you know, once a quarter, I'll do a, a bigger review of it as well. Uh, but it covers my role, my core values, my personal vision. Then it says, what kind of a man am I that, I, that I'm looking at? Mm -hmm. Yes? Um, then the next page that I have over here, this is my perfect day. Um, and that's more for myself. So if the, if the vision is really about what I want to give to the world and the kind of more charitable or altruistic things, um, then my perfect day is that that's what my life looks like when I'm busy doing this five years from now or something like that. So it really has everything about my life, my home, my family, the people that I spend time with, you know, what I eat for lunch and what I eat for breakfast and, and that kind of stuff. Um, just, just to really give me something that, that, that's creating that personal motivation for me as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that, those, are, those are the first two things. I, I read the vision in the morning and I read the perfect day in, in the evening. Those are my, those are my two uh, kind of um, yeah, things that I, that I look at every single day. Um, next page, well, actually, I, 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 those are all the ones I've replaced them with here. Then I have my daily ritual. So the smart thing of this is I have a little system where you fold it out like this and then I can... Uh, actually do the writing here uh, where I am. Um, so, so here I have morning rituals and evening rituals. And as you can see, these also change sometimes. So some of the questions here are great. And I've, I've, I think I'll probably be using them for a very long time, if not forever. But some of them, sometimes I think like, oh, I need to reformulate this. So ask myself, I get to understand myself a little bit better. Um, but these are really the questions that I ask myself 
uh, to kind of really get me into the right uh, frame of mind and to get my mind focused on, on what it is that I want to be doing. Um, and, and yeah, so I, I, I've worked on these questions. There's a couple of things that are things I actually have to do. And then, you know, some of the questions that I really love is just like, you know, what, what, is, what is something that I, one thing that I can get excited about today? Uh, obviously I have gratitude as well. Uh, lately I've been asking myself about like, what do I need to do to make sure I manage my energy uh, well today? Or when is a good opportunity to recharge my energy if I need that, especially in, the, in this winter time? Um, yeah, so, so these are just things, you know, one, one of the things that I focus on every single day is getting clear on what is my most important thing, my MIT, I call it actually. Um, uh, so, so, you know, I, I asked this question about today would be a great success if at the end of the day I did said or felt this. So that, normally that's connected to like something that I have to do. And if I manage that one thing today, ah, then I can feel happy and satisfied with the day. Um, yeah. And then in, in the evening journals, then yeah, I'm also, I'm also looking at these things and I'm also reviewing how it went with those things today. Uh, what did I do well? What, where could I have done better? What could I be delegating? Uh, and different stuff like that as well. I'm also tracking some habits that I'm um, going, going into. I use a, an, I actually use an app to track my habits every single day um, to be tracking if that actually um, connects. And then, yeah, yeah. So that, that's the morning and evening rituals. Um, and then the next page I have here, that is the re weekly review. Uh, so every week, then I, I spend some time, and normally this happens on a Sunday evening, sometimes it happens on Monday morning, um, that I um, do a bigger review of, of how things are going. And it's, it's, also, it's my family stuff. It's also a review of all the open projects that I have. I, I look at all of those um, and, and look at the things that like were great that happened this week. What were the wins? What were the things that I was struggling with? Um, and, and then I spend quite a bit of time looking into the, the one thing uh, in the coming week that if I did that would make everything else easier or unnecessary. That's a great question that I have from a guy called Gary Keller. Um, and, and I spend quite a bit of time with that one thing. Um, and sometimes there's, there's actually you know, up to two or three uh, most important things for the week. I, I don't take more than that, um, but one to three most important things for the week. Um, and, and I actually spend a bit of time drilling in, like, why is this important for me? Uh, what would happen if I succeeded? What would it look like? What, what would it look like? And, and what would happen if I failed? Um, and that kind of thing. So, yeah. The, and, and obviously, yeah, so all of this just gets kind of written out here on, on the different pages. Um, and sometimes, you know, I'll also have, I also spend some time free journaling uh, in the mornings uh, and, and just writing down whatever thoughts that I have in my mind. That's a great thing to do. Some days I just do a very, very short answering of the questions, you know, kind of minimal time. So, it, you know, but it, it's something that I pretty much do every single day and, and it's incredibly valuable. Um, you don't have to do the exact same as me. Um, but but I really think having this physical book and having a having a practice of journaling, especially if you're a creative person, if you uh, don't have a very very structured kind of system that you have to fit into, and someone else is telling you what to do every single day, then this is a way of creating that continuation of thought and and focus for yourself that can really help you to achieve bigger things uh, over the long term by, by keeping your mind focused and not getting torn in all different directions and different approaches so hope you found that useful that was my uh process for journaling and planning and uh, using a journal um and uh yeah let me know if you have any questions thoughts or reflections thanks very much